Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel debug well in this video tutorial We'll try to understand the link queries which are single single or default first first or default Let's go through their definitions single It returns a single specific element from a collection of elements if element match is found An exception is thrown if none or more than one match found for that element in the collection so let's break this definition in, into different parts first is it returns a single specific element from a collection of elements if element matches let's quickly flip to visual studio this is a console application in this we'll see the usage of all the link queries and it says data dot single d goes to d equal to 10 from this collection which is 10 20 30 40 50 find the single element which is equal to 10 there is one and only one matching element so this single will return that element let's quickly run the application and it runs 10 and then definition says an exception is thrown if none or more than one match is found let's uncomment this so in this scenario i am expecting a single element when data is equal to 70 in here there is no 70 element right ideally the result set will be zero and we'll get an exception let's run the application and we got the exception sequence contains no matching element let's move to another example in this scenario data dot single d is equal to 10 in order to have multiple results set from this query i'll add one more 10 in the collection now d is equal to 10 will return two element this one and this one right so we have multiple element so we'll get an exception let's run the application and again we are getting exception sequence contains more than one matching element and let's now see single or default it returns a single specific element from a collection of elements if element match is found an exception is thrown if more than one match is found a default value is returned if no match is found for that element so i'll uncomment this uh, let me just make this unique this list data dot single or default d is equal to 40 so in this case it will loop through this and it will find a 40 and it will simply return it let's run the application we get 40 back so at this point the behavior is same as the link query single let's move to this one it says data dot single or default with d greater than or equal to 100 now in this case we do not have any 100 data entry right if there is no entry it will return the default value element so default value will be returned the default value for integer is zero so ideally we should have zero as the output let's run this application and you can see we have got zero this example it says singular default d equal to 10 let me again uh, make it multiple records so now we have two records we expecting either single or if there is nothing then we expect default but when it will loop through it will find two tens right so it will throw an exception let's run the application and we got an exception first it returns first specific element from a collection of elements if one or more elements then one match found for that element an exception is thrown if no match is found for that element in the collection let's uncomment this so it says data dot first so in this collection we have 10 right first element 10 will be returned from here let's run the application 10 okay and now see the second example this is very interesting here it says return all the data which is less than and equal to 20 this is 20 is also less than or equal to 20 and 10 is also less than or equal to 20 we will get two results set but since we are using first it will not throw any exception it will return the first matching element which matches this condition and which will be 10 so let's run the application and we got the output as in this case we are saying return data dot first where d goes to d equal to equal to 100 in this case the data is not found at all right and we are saying first and the first element will be nothing because we don't have 100 here we'll get an exception here let's run the application and there you go you got an exception right at line 41 so this is the line 41 and we got the exception here now let's see this example first or default where d equal to equal to 100 in this case no matching element is found so when no matching element is found it will simply put it as default value which is zero let's run the application and there you go zero 
right when you want an exception to be thrown if result set contains many records use single or singular default when you want a default value is returned if result set contains no record use single or default third one when you always want one record no matter what result set contains use first or first or default in this scenario if there are multiple result set then it will always return the first one and fourth point when you want default value of result set contains no record use first or default performance of single or default and first or default first or default usually perform faster as compared to single or default since these iterate the collection until they find the first match while single or default iterate the whole collection to find single match in first or default it finds the element takes the decision and gives the output whereas in single or default even though it found an element it has to iterate through entire loop to find whether there is a duplicate element then only it will be able to throw exception or give us the output i hope you like this video click on like subscribe and comment thank you